Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, TV support Call of Duty World War 2, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, today we have one of the most interesting stories in the history of the Call of Duty franchise, Sledgehammer Games co-founders Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield have left the studio and moved over to Activision where they will be working on new game ideas. Aaron Halon, who is Sledgehammer's senior development director, he's going to be taking over as the studio head and I think it's safe to say that the future of Call of Duty World War 2 and indeed Sledgehammer Games is definitely up in the air right now. A lot of us had wondered if something strange was going on, right? Because over the past three weeks, Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield have been uncharacteristically silent on social media right after giving us a very long streak of updates and community interactions since the start of the new year. I had thought that perhaps they were working on some sort of a huge overhaul to the game or a giant patch that was going to change around a lot of things, but no, it looks like this sudden silence was because they left the freaking company. This honestly has me concerned about the future of Call of Duty World War 2 because even though I adore this game, I cannot deny the sheer amount the problems that it currently faces, and I'm wondering how frequently we are going to be getting game updates now that Condry and Schofield are gone. Before they left the studio, Michael Condry was teasing that Domination XL would be coming to the game, alongside score streak retuning, weapon balance changes, and there were even some rumors that the order system was going to be reworked, and now I'm wondering if any of that is actually going to be happening. This reminds me quite a bit of what happened with Vince Impella and Jason West back in Modern Warfare 2, so for those that don't know, these two were the co-founders of Infinity Ward, and they left the studio to go form Respawn Entertainment after having a huge falling out with Activision. They ended up bringing most of the original Infinity Ward studio with them, which left Activision to pick up the pieces and scramble to rehire an entire staff to continue working on Modern Warfare 3, which was currently in development. A huge side effect of this, which none of us saw at the time, was because they were scrambling so hard to get new people in the studio, they stopped updating Modern Warfare 2, and that is why, to this day, Modern Warfare 2 has so many broken aspects in its multiplayer. Now, to be fair, this situation with Sledgehammer is a bit different than what happened back in the day, right? Because so far, we don't know if anyone else has left the studio besides Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield, and it's not as if they're leaving to make a Call of Duty competitor like Respawn did with Titanfall. Both of these guys are still working for Activision, and believe it or not, they actually made the original Dead Space before they started working for Activision, so who knows what they could actually be working on. I'm just worried about the future of Call of Duty World War II and whether or not it's going to continue to be updated. I also have to wonder, how is this going to affect the three-year development cycle, right? Because right now, it seems like maybe something big is happening at Sledgehammer Games, and could this mean the end of the three-year development cycle? We have no evidence, I should say, we have no evidence whatsoever that suggests that this is going to happen, but it's incredibly odd for a studio's co-founders and their top social media faces to suddenly leave a company a few months after a record-breaking blockbuster release like Call of Duty World War II. This is definitely one of the more interesting moves in the history of the Call of Duty franchise, and I'm definitely going to be keeping a close eye on it. I just hope that Call of Duty World War II continues to be updated, and they don't just suddenly go silent on us except whenever they release a brand new map pack but of course we're going to have to wait and see how it plays out that's all I have for you guys here in this video it's definitely just a crazy bit of news here today I'd love to hear what you guys think down there in the comments what do you think is going to happen to the future of the Call of Duty franchise now that Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield have left Sledgehammer Games leave all your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section below I hope you enjoyed this video drop me a rating and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day